What do you say? You're supposed to say trick or treat. You might not know this if you were a little goblin who always said trick-or-treat, but adults were pretty passive-aggressive, if not openly hostile, to kids who didn't say those three magical words. It's not that I didn't love Halloween or the idea of going door-to-door -to, -door to get candy. I loved it. Dressing up in a costume, getting chocolate for free, the chance to peek into someone's home to see if they had a fancier TV than we had. They did. I just couldn't say trick or treat, because I'm on the autism spectrum. Although I've always been verbal, social things Hello. like greetings were really hard for me. I didn't even have a clue that I had to say trick or treat until my mom told me, but I could not understand why. I didn't know what it meant, and the words sounded weird in my mouth. Does anyone else get that, like, words? that feel weird in your mouth. Like apparently, a lot of people hate the word moist, not just for its associations, but also people think that the O and the I sounds kind of gross together. That's how trick-or-treat feels to me. Ugh. I already had heart-pounding anxiety from the anticipation, the off-key doorbell sound, the way my costume itched my skin, by the time the person opened the door, I was barely there. I was deep inside myself, reaching into a bowl of candy that was far, far away. I ended up really liking those houses who just left the bowl out, and I could just sit there and dig calmly through the candy like an archaeologist while their porch decorations would sing these vaguely threatening songs to me. Sometimes when walking up to a new house, there would be many kids approaching too. I'd try to slide smoothly into their group and stand off to the side while they did the dirty work, which was, again, saying three words. Actually, it worked too well and I'm still standing off to the side in my real life trying to blend in as not autistic to this day. God, I can't believe it goes back that far. Oh my god. Another thing I remember about trick-or-treating is I was very particular what kind of candy I wanted to get. I would stand there for like five full minutes rummaging around in the bucket until I got the perfect candy. Well, unbeknownst to me, there were like three groups of kids who had lined up and were waiting for the house. After all these trials and tribulations, I did eventually come home with a good amount of candy. The only thing I couldn't stand more than passive-aggressive adults who wanted me to say trick-or-treat to them was people who gave out raisins. Why did you give me this? I actually have some sort of like raisin allergy, so I'm probably more angry at raisins than the average person, but I didn't know that at the time. People who give pretzels and this weird slide puzzle thing, you can stay but you're on very thin ice. As I got older, I eventually got better about saying trick or treat after I rang the doorbell. And I eventually would go out with some friends or my younger sister who could help me out by saying it for me. And then when I got too old for trick or treating, which happens around like the age of 12, I feel like people deserve to trick or treat longer than that. Apparently there's laws against it. But anyway, the great circle of Halloween continues and I became the person who answers the door, and I would give out the candy, and I wouldn't say anything to them, except for maybe, hey, nice costume, if I recognized who they were supposed to be. I don't know if people still go trick-or-treating because I'm just really out of touch and older and we had a pandemic, but if people do, please be kind and still give out candy to kids at the door, even if they don't say anything. You never know if they have social anxiety, autism, or other conditions. And I'm sure that they would really appreciate it. And they would also really appreciate not getting raisins. Oh hi, it's Sai. Thanks for all the support between my last video and this one. I would love it if you could comment down below your favorite Halloween candy because I really want to try out some new ones this year. Also, my schedule cleared up a lot and I am now working 
more regularly on videos, so I'm really excited. Stay tuned for those. I will see you again very soon.